Hello there everybody, my name is Coast Shard Longstaborn, but built for theme park news and welcome to a Coast Shard review. This is from Grand National at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Now this is a wooden coaster, a traditional wooden coaster. First opened at the park in 1935 uh, and I'm going to be reviewing it all including the queue line experience, the ride experience and my final thoughts. So please like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please, please share the channel around with your friends, family on our social media. We're getting so close to 1,400 subscribers as of recording this. We're getting closer and closer to that 1,500 mark as well. Uh, so please, uh, with the hashtag question before it, that's your hashtag, hashtag question. Please comment down below if you want a question for the Q&A video for 1,500 subscribers uh, when, if and when we reach it. Uh, so if you want a question for the Q&A video, just put a hashtag question before you put your question, before you type your question, put hashtag question. Either before or the end, it don't matter. Um, just some, just somewhere at the end or before the question, just put hashtag question so I know it's for the Q&A video. Uh, and I'm going to be marking all of your Q&A questions down, um, ready. F if you put one and I've missed it, then um, just put it again, just comment down below again. Um, and just keep coming down below the questions, it don't matter if you answer one question or five questions from the same person. It does not matter, just put your questions in. So I'll answer every single one of them in a bulk video. So for now guys, let's get into this review. So the Grand National is a traditional wooden roller coaster opened in 1935 at Blackpool Pleasure Beach in Blackpool, Lancashire, England. It was built by Charles Page. It's a Mobius style wooden coaster. So here is some stats on the classic uh, attraction uh, for those of you who need some stats. Uh, so basically this has a length of 3,302 feet, a height of 62 feet, a speed of 40 miles per hour and a duration, a combined duration of 2 minutes 20. Bit of history for you, on the 20th of May 2004, a fire destroyed the traditional Grand National Station and damaged two nearby attractions, Trauma Towers, which is now closed, and Alice's Wonderland. The Grand National reopened on the 28th uh, of October 2004 after repairs were officially completed. Now this was actually, it's, it, the builder was Charles Page, which was actually built by Philadelphia Toboggan Coasters. Uh, and the restraint system is a seat divider, a seat belt and an individual ratcheting lap bar. Uh, so, like I say, it's, tradi it's a traditional racing wooden coaster, uh, and it's one of my. Fa it's, it's personally, in my opinion, I think it's rough in places, but it's overall it's an okay coaster. It's not completely awful, but it's your traditional wooden coaster. It's your traditional 30 wooden coaster where it's rough around the edges, but it's just got some good traditional thrills to it. Now, the queue line experience I loved because. It gave you great views of the coaster as it's come past through the stations. You can choose either side and it's just a traditional wooden coaster. It's a traditional classic wooden coaster. Um, you know, my my favourite elements is like the there's like a spot where there's no like supports blocking the way so you can high five the train next to you as it's coming past you. So uh, I really liked that bit of the coaster. I feel like that's a, a good bit of the roller coaster in my opinion. Um, now, Grand National itself, I don't think will be on the way out in the near future. I think it will celebrate um, its 90th anniversary. I feel like, you know, its 90th anniversary is coming up in a few years' time. I think it will survive for then. Maybe they'll celebrate 90 and they'll announce the RMC it. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking too out of myself. Um, obviously, all of us are wanting to see RMC Grand National for a few years. I think Blackpool have already got their hands for reimagining Valhalla for 2021, so I don't think uh, we'll see a big coaster project until a few years down the road, and I don't think it'll be RMC Grand National, in my opinion. But... I kind of like that it it's pretty much not going to be RMC or it won't be RMC because uh, I want to see those traditional thrills stay at Blackpool Pledge Beach. Obviously I want to see a modern wooden coaster like a GCI or an RMC at some point but if, 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 first of all if it was an RMC coming to the park it would be a single rail coaster, it wouldn't be like a traditional wooden coaster changed into an RMC track. Maybe GCI coming in and retract some bits at some points in its, in its later future but um, for now at least it'll stay traditional uh, and like I say if there was to be a modern wooden coaster at the park it would be a GCI either using the new steel track that they unveiled uh, late at IAPA this year or near Fun Spot America shall we say 
uh, whether it's the new GCR steel track or it's traditional GCR retracking like Ghost Rider at Knott's. I had Racer at Kings Islands getting some retracking done, some more retracking done. I know they retracked a couple of bits uh, before the start of the season last year, so they might be retracking a few more bits this year just to make it smoother around the edges. So. Uh, just little things like that in the in the future years may be better for the ride ride's long term development and its long term future. But for now, you know, like I said, apart from a few rough edges, I think it's definitely a good traditional classic wooden roller coaster. And I said that too much in this video, but I just love it. I just love it as a tra traditional attraction, an old classic attraction. And I feel proud that I've got the credit. It's like Wild Mouse at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and uh, Corkscrew at Alton Towers. I feel proud to get the credit, and I'm, I'd be I'd be sad when it goes. Um, you know, I'm happy to have got the the refurbished Valhalla from 2012 before it closed, ready for its reimagining for next year. Um, because Valhalla's been being reimagined next year, I might actually try and head back to Blackpool Pleasure Beach next year. Hopefully, uh, try and get the new reimagined Valhalla in. Try and get back on Grand National, kind of icon for the first time. I'm still yet to do that coaster. Uh, Mac Double Launch opened in 2018 along with Wickham at Alton Towers. Um, you know, I want to try and get that coaster in at some point. Obviously, big one, that's a big draw for Blackpool Pudge Beach, so it'd be nice to get back on that next year. Um, but overall, overall, Grand National itself is a traditional wooden coaster. It's a great ride, uh, rough around the edges, but overall, a good coaster. So, thank you very much. For watching this theme park coast child review from Grand National at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys, keep in the coast life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon. Take care guys. Have an awesome day.